from Make It or Break It, and we're gonna be doing a 3D printing review today of the world's smallest airsoft 40 millimeter grenade launcher, the Little Fella. Uh, this thing's really cool and can fit on some of the smallest Picatinny rails and also acts as a grenade launcher pistol. This is gonna be cool. Let's go do the print. Print turned out really good, so let's take it off the build plate and see what we got. I printed this in PLA plastic at about two, uh, 0 0.2 layer height. And I did it at about uh, 50 millimeters a second. And I did everything in one uh, big print right there. Um, I didn't have a cooling fan, so, but uh, besides that, I'd say let's go ahead and get a focus on that. Uh, I'd say the parts came out really good. Um, you can see uh, some of the designs there, little fella. Um, I'll post a link to the designers. Thingiverse page, uh, so that way you can find this model and print it yourself. And basically what it does is it prints in four components and it's pretty easily assembled. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the assembly process over here. Okay, so assembling and making this work is actually pretty straightforward. So what we're going to be doing uh, to accomplish that is uh, we need a few parts. I uh, have some already here in my little mini nook that I printed uh, earlier. We'll go ahead and put that guy away. And I have my tools sort of ready to go. So let's go ahead and lay out the screws and what we need. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the little lever arm here. This is what holds the tube in. So basically uh, this tube is going to go inside of the uh, grenade launcher like this. And then this tube or this right here is going to hold it in place. That way it doesn't slide forward. So I'll just leave that in there for now. What I'm going to use is... Um, I have two uh, screws right here, and these are M.3 screws, and they're probably about mm, maybe 10 or 15 millimeters at most. So I'm gonna just put one on each side of the arm here. And what's kind of cool about 3D prints, if you design the file right, and uh, use the right measurements. Like in this case, like in order, if, I gonna, if I'm going to design a file and I'm going to put uh, M3 screws into the, the design, then what I would usually do is design a three millimeter hole. And then when you go to screw in your three millimeter screw, there's no need to like use a tap or threaded screw to get uh, something to grip on. The teeth of the screw itself will just sort of thread right into whatever it is that you're uh, printed. Like this right now is tight and uh, secure. So that's always uh, a plus. And then uh, I'm going to do one on the other side as well. Yeah, and this is a, a pretty pretty cool grenade launcher right here. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I've printed uh, 
three of them <laughs> total. So I'm uh, fairly familiar with it. And this one, I'm just having a bit of trouble lining it up. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the, the lever installed, the last thing that we need to do is uh, put on our Picatinny rail. I went ahead and did that. You can just thread some screws through here and uh, this little uh, lever right here just locks in place on your Picatinny rail. And you can see kind of how that would go. Now this is another one I made. Uh, I printed this one in a PET Plus filament. I'll maybe talk more about that in other videos. It's a really solid one, but uh, plastic, but I didn't feel the need to do it. I feel like this is plenty strong in PLA to be honest with you. Um, so, and I printed this at about, I don't know, maybe like 25% uh, infill, something like that. So the last thing you do after you've gotten your rail installed, you've got your lever installed, is to get the firing pin set up. And that's so easy to do. All you do on the back of this thing is there's a little hole that comes as part of the model. You just go ahead and thread a screw through it. As you can see right there at the bottom of this guy, there's a screw down there. And that screw basically just puts pressure on the grenade pin when you squeeze this back. So put the grenade in here, bring it in. It doesn't lock all the way in until because of the pressure from the grenade. And then you squeeze it. And that squeeze is what shoots off the grenade against the firing pin. As you can see, this is sort of a, a third one, and you can kind of make yours look a little cooler too if you want to go ahead and print in multiple colors. I did gray uh, PET+, plus, blue PET+, plus, or actually sorry, the gray is PETG, PET+, plus for this, and then this is also PET+, plus, and then red. So this is sort of like your, your final uh, assembly here. And uh, that's really it. And this is uh, sort of what it looks like um, when you have it uh, all finalized there. And this locks in really nicely against this tube here. And uh, nothing is going to fall out there. And it just mounts beautifully to my crisp vector. It doesn't take up very much uh, space at all in the rail. And you can see that. And the cool thing is, too, is you can just put this in your pocket. Uh, hell, you could carry two of them if you want and uh, use these as uh, standalone guns and, and shoot them like this. So anyways, let's go to the video. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, shoot this guy and see how it goes. Okay, so uh, this is the final result here. And uh, thanks for bearing with us. This is my uh, first YouTube video on this channel. Hopefully you guys like it. We're gonna make a whole bunch of more videos where we make really cool 3D printed stuff and we try different sort of uh, things. Maybe we destroy some stuff. Who knows, we're gonna, we're gonna see where this channel takes us. But uh, this is a, a final result. You can see I have it mounted on my Chris Vector. This is a pretty small platform. So as you can see that it is a very small grenade launcher. That's why I call it the little fella. I have no problem getting my hand underneath of here. And since it does replace the wrist grip, you can use it like this as well. So, pretty cool. I, uh, I really do like this design. I think it's functional and practical. So let's go ahead and do a blank test fire on it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out the shell here. And we're gonna drop it in. There's no BBs in this uh, round. And I don't have any green gas, so I'm using propane. It's not gonna be as powerful as usual but now we've got a loaded round in this guy and let's just uh, see how this goes so once again our trigger pulls back against our firing pin and that's it that would have been uh, roughly 120 bbs and this is great for room clearing if you play at cqb uh, fields and everything like that so pretty awesome i'm hoping to design my own uh, grenade launcher and I also want to print this uh, same uh, 3D uh, modeler's other grenade launcher he has. Uh, it's a blunderbuss so maybe we'll print that in some wood filament. So 
Anyways, uh, this has been Make It or Break It, and this is one of our first videos, so we hope you like it, and if you want to see more to come, subscribe.